and welcome back to my channel, Dental Hygiene with Whitney. Today we're going to talk about how to prevent cavities. Just so you know, cavities can also be called dental caries, just so you know. So let's just jump right in. We're going to do five tips, like five ways to prevent cavities, starting with tip number one. Tip number one is brush and floss. As previously stated in one of my videos, I mentioned, and I just remember mentioning, to floss, then brush, then rinse with like a mouth rinse. Um, I learned something recently, and it may not be the best order. There's no like best order usually. However, since we're talking about preventing cavities, the best way may be to brush, then floss, then rinse. So the reason behind that is you're brushing with a fluoride toothpaste, right? Don't rinse with water and then spit out and then floss. Don't do that. Just brush with the fluoride toothpaste. You can spit, but don't rinse. Keep that fluoride toothpaste on your teeth and then floss. The idea behind that is that the floss is getting in between the teeth with the toothpaste and kind of putting that fluoride to help prevent cavities in between the teeth. So maybe, Brushing, then flossing, then rinsing is a better option than what I said in my old video. Either way, if you're flossing, that's great, but if you're trying to do the best thing ever, maybe try the brush, floss, rinse. Does that make sense? <laughs> Tip number two. Swish your mouth with a fluoride rinse before bed. My favorite is ACT. It's, um, I just like it because it does not have that burning sensation, but any anti-cavity fluoride rinse will work. I also have the Listerine purple one. It's the anti-cavity. Um, they're both great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just prefer the ACT because I don't like the burning sensation. It makes my eyes water and I don't like it. The thing you need to know about the fluoride mouth rinse, we recommend that you use it before bed because you're supposed to wait 30 minutes before you eat or drink anything. So you don't want to use it in the morning and then have your morning coffee because it's just going to rinse it away. You want that fluoride mouth rinse to sit on your teeth throughout the night. So swish, then go to sleep. Tip number three. Rinse with water. Drink water. <laughs> rinse with water after you eat or drink because say you just had a graham cracker. First, I don't know why that came. A graham cracker. I like graham crackers with butter. Very good. Say you just add one of those in the chewing surfaces of your teeth. All those little grooves if you don't already have fillings or sealants. That graham cracker is stuck in those little grooves on your chewing surface. The more water, the better throughout the day. Another thing about water, it's better than drinking pop. I know we all do it, but just try to drink more water. It helps prevent cavities. The more water you drink, the less other crappy stuff you drink. We don't like sugars on our teeth all day. Tip number four. Get routine checkup x-rays at your dental appointments. Generally, they do it once a year. Maybe for you, they want them every six months at your cleaning. But get them. They're called bite wing x-rays. You might hear, bite wings, bite wings. Today you're due for bite wings. Get them, they're so important. It's the only way we're able to see in between the teeth if any cavities are forming that we can't see clinically. We can see them on the x-rays and before they get big, we can take care of them. The goal of x-rays is to benefit you, not to hurt you. A lot of people decline x-rays because they're concerned about radiation. I get it. But the amount of radiation you get for those four easy bite wings and especially if they're digital, is so minimal. I think it's equal to eating a banana because banana has radiation. Truly, it's so minimal. There's research on the banana. Check it out. <laughs> they're really important. We're just trying to help you get your x-rays. Tip number five, the final tip. This one kind of goes in conjunction what we were talking about with rinsing with water, but basically this tip is cut down the sugar in your diet, specifically fermentable carbohydrates. Now, what is a fermentable carb? I feel like in dental hygiene school, that's all we talked about was fermentable carbs, fermentable carbs, they're bad. The thing about fermentable carbs is that they work with bacteria in your mouth to begin the decay process. Decay is a cavity cookies, cakes, some candies, but the less obvious ones are bread, crackers, breakfast cereal. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you don't get any cavities. I hope this helped you. I hope to see you soon. Please subscribe to my channel. I hope you subscribe to my channel. Peace.